channel, my name is Tish and I am going to be sharing with you the most incredible, delicious raw bread recipe. So I use some carrot pulp that I had from carrot juice that I made this morning, but you can use any type of pulp that you have. If you have beetroot and apple and ginger, even if you have green juice, you're gonna add some spices and some herbs to make it really tasty. Let's get straight into this. Oh, this bread is so good, so good. <laughs> you are going to need four cups of juice pulp. As mentioned, I had carrots that I juiced this morning, so that's what I'm using. One large sweet onion, half a cup of flaxseed meal, so you can either grind the flaxseeds yourself or you can buy it readily available as flaxseed meal, it's totally up to you. Two tablespoons of maple syrup, two tablespoons of tamari, and seasoning of your choice. This is a great way to put your stamp on the bread to make it however you like it, taste-wise. So I chose to use oregano, basil, garlic powder, crushed fennel seeds, some cayenne pepper, sea salt, and some black pepper. A quarter cup of olive oil and a quarter cup of water. So to get the juice pulp, you're gonna to have to make your juice and enjoy the juice. And then in a blender or a food processor, just grind the flax seeds up as much as possible. So if you have flaxseed meal already, you can skip this step. Chop the sweet onion up and just process it or blend it until smooth. So in a food processor, add your carrot pulp, your flaxseed meal, your sweet onion, and pour over some olive oil and some water as well. So just process everything together. Um, you can scrape down the sides kind of halfway through if you need to, just to help everything move better. Go ahead and add your tamari and your maple syrup, followed on by all of the spices and the herbs and the salt and the pepper of your choice. Then just give it another whiz in the food processor. So on a dehydrator sheet or parchment paper, which I use, just spread the mixture out as flat as possible using a spatula. So if you want your bread slightly thinner and you want to speed up the cooking process, then you can actually divide the mixture into two and place it on two trays instead of one. That way it will cook a lot faster once it's in the dehydrator. So to get the edges nice and neat, I just use the sharp knife just to cut around the edges and then it's time to place in the dehydrator. So I place the raw bread into the dehydrator at a temperature of 115 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 46 degrees Celsius, for eight hours overnight. And then in the morning, I flipped the bread over and placed it back into the dehydrator for an additional two hours. So a total cooking time of 10 hours. So once the bread is ready, remove it from the dehydrator and we are going to cut it into pieces. So I chose to cut it into six pieces. So I love serving my raw carrot and sweet onion bread with some guacamole and some sprouts and black pepper. Another way to serve it is um, with some hummus and some tomatoes and red onion and some black olives, some rocket and some olive oil and some black pepper. Oh, this one actually, that's my favourite way. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye!